we have another busy week for this week. And as I look at the agenda for today, that leads me to the progress of the Commission of Inquiry. Uh, I'd like to remind everyone for the usual pro COVID protocol uh, for our own safety that we need to, at all times, comply with. We have a few tasks for us this morning to go through uh, as per our agenda items. And we need to deal with those four agenda items as we continue with the inquiry this morning. And if I could uh, ask the council assisting in the Commission of Inquiry to take us through for this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Council's name is Geroro, initial G. I appear with my friend, Mr. Keeper, initial M, both as council assisting this morning. Commissioner, the diary has four matters listed for this morning. We propose to deal with the short matters first relating to extension of summonses. In that regard, we deal with number agenda number two that relates to the summons issued to Kumul Consolidated Holdings Limited. If uh, Professor David Kavanamo could be called up to the witness box. Commissioner, my name is Rastas Kamburi. I represent uh, Dr. Kavnamur and uh, Dr. Kavnamur appears this morning on the extended summons. Commissioner, we, we propose that the summons for Professor Kavanamur be extended to the 14th of February 2022 at 9.30 a.m. And the basis for that is just to ensure that the documents that he has produced are, are, are in order. He has produced all the documents um, issued under the summons. It's more of a, a housekeeping matter in terms of the, the um, legibility or otherwise of certain documents that were produced. So perhaps th that summons could be extended to the 14th of February 2022 at 9.30 a.m. Just confer with uh, Dr. Carvin Moore on the proposed date. Uh, good morning. I concur with. Uh, views expressed by council for us to uh, present the four sets of documents that we have. Uh, thank you. Well, there's no issue with the 14th. Uh, that is convenient for us. Thank you for your representation this morning. Having considered that the Commission directs that summons number two, dated 10 December 2021, is further extended to Monday 14 February 
2022, at about 9.30 a.m., for mention dated the 7th day of February 2022, authorized by the Commission. Thank you. Mr. Brother, Professor Kavanaugh, could you excuse? Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Professor Kavanaugh. You can be excused. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Commissioner. The next item that we wish to deal with is uh, item number three on uh, this morning's uh, daily diary, which is uh, summons number six. Uh, Miss Grace Son uh, from the NEC Secretariat is here, so if I could kindly call her to take the witness stand. Thank you. Commissioner, for the record, uh, summons number six, dated the uh, 6th of uh, January uh, 2022, was uh, uh, issued to Miss Grace Owen and initially returned on the 24th of January 2022, on which date uh, Miss Sowon produced uh, some documents in response to the summons uh, to the Commission. We took possession of those documents and have since uh, reviewed those documents. Commissioner, I wish to produce those documents uh, to Ms. Sowon uh, with a view to having them uh, formally tendered this morning. If I could ask the associate to produce this to uh, Ms. Sowon, please. Commissioner, we'll, we'll have uh, Miss Miss Owen formally sworn in as well this morning. So, associate, please. I do. Thank you. Now, Ms. Sohn, uh, before you is a bundle of documents which you gave to us or to the Commission on the 24th. Now, what I will do is I will um, refer to each document that you have before you by uh, describing it or reading a description of it uh, for purposes of identifying it. And if you could kindly confirm um, my description and also that uh, those documents were indeed produced by you. So the first document uh, should be a letter dated 24th of Jan 2022 by uh, yourself to the Commissioner. Yes. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, Ms. Sound Commissioner, I seek to have that doc uh, document, uh, the letter, tendered and marked as Exhibit NEC GS1.
I admit that document into evidence and mark as exhibit. Exhibit NEC GS1. NEC GS1. Thank you. Yes, the next document is uh, the next document is NEC decision number 226 of 1998, dated uh, 24th September 1998. It's dated 23rd September 1998. That's, that, that's it. I'm sorry, beg your pardon. Yes, it's, it should be dated 23rd uh, September 1998. That, that's the doc, uh, document that I'm trying to refer to. Okay. Yes, thank you, Commissioner. Right. Uh, if, if, if that document could be tendered as a exhibit uh, NEC GS2. Uh, yes, Council. Um, I admit the document into evidence and mark as exhibit NEC GS2. Commissioner. The next uh, document is NEC decision number 116 of 2012, made in meeting number NG20 of 2012, dated 15 May 2012, correct? That's correct. Thank you. Uh, if that could be tendered as well and marked as exhibit NEC GS3. Yes, Consul, I admit the document into evidence and mark as exhibit NEC GS3. Thank you. The next document is um, NEC decision number 353 of 2013, made in meeting number 9 of 2013, dated 2nd of October 2013. So Thank you. Um, Commissioner, if that could be tendered and marked as exhibit NEC GS4. Yes, Council, I admit the document into evidence and mark as exhibit NEC GS4. Thank you. Um, next document is uh, policy submission number 264 of 2013. That's correct. Thank you, Ms. Uh, Commissioner, if that could be tendered and marked as NEC GS5. Yes, Consul, I admit the document into evidence, marked as Exhibit NEC GS5. Thank you. The next document is uh, NEC decision number 14 of 2014. Dated 22nd January 2014. Uh, if that could be tendered and marked as NEC GS6. Yes, Consul, I admit the document into evidence marked as exhibit NEC GS6. Thank you. The next document is, uh, is a statutory paper, number 12 of 2014, dated 19 December 2013, comprising of 10 pages. It's not a statutory paper, it's a policy submission, number 12 of 2014. Okay, okay thank you. Ms. Sawan, can you confirm that the words statutory paper were crossed out? And that's in place of that, uh, the initials P as well? That's correct. That's yes. right. So it's a policy submission? Policy submission. Thank you. I'm, I, I was referring to that document. That's the same document I'm referring to. So, thank you, Ms. Sawan. If that could be uh, tendered, 
and marked as NEC GS number 7. Yes, Council. I admit the document into evidence and mark as exhibit NEC GS 7. Thank you. Ne next document is NEC decision number 194 of 2014, dated 18th June 2014. It's correct. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner, I seek to have the tendered and marked as NEC GS number 8. Yes, Council. I admit that document into evidence and marked as exhibit NEC GS 8. Thank you. Next document is policy submission number 172 of 2014, dated 16th June 2014. Motion if that could be tendered and marked as NEC GS number nine. Yes, Council. I admit the document into evidence and marked as exhibit NEC GS nine. Thank you. Next document is NEC decision number two one four of twenty fourteen, dated twenty four July twenty fourteen. That's correct. Thank you, uh, Ms. Sawan. Commissioner, if that could be tendered and marked as NEC GS number 10. <clears throat> yes, Council, I admit the document into evidence and mark as exhibit NEC GS 10. Thank you. Next document is policy submission number 196, dated 15 July 2014. Commissioner, if that could be tendered as, and marked as NEC GS number 11. Yes, Council, I admit that document into evidence and mark as exhibit NEC GS 11. Thank you. Next document is NEC decision number 69 of 2016, dated 17th March. 2016. That's correct. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, Ms. Sawan, Commissioner, if that could be marked as uh, NEC, GS number 12. Yes, Council, I admit that document into evidence and mark as exhibit NEC GS 12. Next document is a statutory paper, number 35. Comprised of some 227 pages. That's correct. Commissioner, if that document could be tendered and marked as NEC GS number 13. Yes, Council, I admit that document into evidence and marked as exhibit NEC GS 13. Thank you. The next document is NEC decision number 109 of 2020, dated uh, 22nd April 2020. Right. Commissioner, if that could be tendered and marked as NEC G GS number 14. Yes, Council. I admit that document into evidence and mark as exhibit NEC GS 14. Thank you. The next document is uh, policy submission number 48 of 2020. Correct. Commissioner, if that could be tendered and marked as NEC GS number 15. Yes, Council, I admit that document into evidence and marked as exhibit NEC GS 15. Thank you. The last document is uh, NEC decision number 288 of 2020, dated 8 September 2020. Um, Commissioner, the decision, yeah, that's correct. That's the decision, and it's got its policy submission attached to it as well. Policy submission number 236 of 2020. That's correct, yes. Um, yes, 
I confirm that uh, they have been put together as the one in the same document. Uh, so, Commissioner, if that document comprising of uh, the policy submission and the NEC decision, totally in a num a eleven pages could be tendered and marked as NEC GS number sixteen. Yes, Council. I admit the document into evidence and mark as exhibit NEC GS 16. Yes, thank you, Commissioner. Uh, Ms. Sowan, those are all the documents that uh, we considered uh, relevant for purposes of the um, <coughs> Commission's inquiry. Um, Commissioner, we propose to have the summons number six uh, extended to Monday the the 7th of March at 9.30 a.m. for for mention. So if Commissioner could uh, kindly give a direction uh, to that effect. Thank you, Council, having considered the circumstances. The Commission directs that summons number six, dated January 2022, is further extended to Monday, 7 March 2022, at 9.30 a.m. for mention. Dated the seventh day of February 2022, authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, if we could have uh, Ms. Sowan excused for the witness time, thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, uh, Ms. Sohan, for your participation. You can be excused from the witness stand. Documents from the witness box could just be taken by the associate, uh, Mr. Commissioner. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. We now turn to summons number one, which is listed number one on the daily diary. That's a summons issued to the uh, PNG Ports Corporation, especially the Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Fego Otakiniafa. He appears on summons, and we basically propose to do the same in terms of t tendering uh, various documents that he has produced under summons number one. So if you could have Mr. Kiniafa um, approach the witness box and be sworn by the associate. Mr. Commissioner, before we do that, I'd like to announce my appearance. Council's name is Isa Inisul J. I'm from PNG Ports and I appear on behalf of my CEO, Mr. Kiniafa. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Kinefa. If the associate could uh, swear the swear the witness in. Good morning, Mr. Kinafa. Thank you for your attendance this morning. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you a bundle of documents that you had kindly produced to us, present to your summons, that can be just shown to the, to the witness, please, Associate.
as you, and as you note, you have you have previously stated your occupation formally uh, as the Chief Executive Officer of Papua New Guinea Co Corporations, sorry, rather PNG Ports Corporation Limited. Is that correct? That's correct, Council. And it is pursuant to that position to which you now produce those documents. Rather, those are documents that you have produced in your capacity as the CEO. That's correct. Now, just turning to turning to the documents, you note that they have been uh, tied up in a rope. Perhaps you can just un un untie the rope. And I'll take you to each document for identification purposes. They're basically being collected in accordance with the list that you have there as well for your ease of reference. But firstly, the first document that I'll show to you, which you could kindly identify, should be a letter dated 17th of January 2022. That's correct, Council. And there's a letter written by yourself to the Commissioner. Correct. Commissioner, if I can have that document tended into evidence and mark this PNG ports one. Uh, yes, Council. I admit that document into evidence and mark as exhibit PNG ports one. Now, the second document, second document that you should have should be a letter from Alan Linklater's local managing partner, Vincent Bull, to PNG Ports Corporation Limited, General Manager Corporate Affairs, Joseph Isa, dated 11 August 20, 20, 2014. Oh, I have the document. Commissioner, if that document could be tendered into evidence as and marked PNG Ports 2. Yes, Council. I admit the document into evidence and mark as exhibit PNG Ports 2. The next document is a document described as a letter of intent between IPVC, Curtin Bros, Papua New Guinea Limited, Ballymore Number 39 Limited, and PNG Ports. Corporation Limited. That's correct, Council. And that document is as a five pages. I confirm that it's five pages, yes. Yes. Commissioner, that document could be marked as exhibit PNG ports three. Yes, uh, Council, I admit that document into evidence and mark as exhibit PNG ports three. Mr. Kiniapa, the next document is, des is described as an addendum one to letter of intent between IPVC, Curtin Bells, Papua New Guinea Limited, Ballymore number 39 Limited, and PNG Ports Corporation Limited, dated 1 September 2014. Could you confirm that, please? That's correct, Council. Commissioner, if that document could be marked as exhibit PNG ports four. Uh, yes, Council. I admit that document into evidence and mark as exhibit PNG ports. Four. Mr. Kiniafa, the next document is a letter from Allen's Linklater's local managing partner, Vincent Bull, to PNG Ports Corporation Limited General Manager, Corporate Affairs Joseph Isa, dated 3 September 2014. Is that correct? That's correct, Council. Commissioner, if that document could be tendered and marked as Exhibit PNG Ports 5. Yes, uh, Council, I admit the document into evidence and matters exhibit PNG ports 5. The next document is described as a record of board resolution number 99 slash 2014, dated 27 October 2014, 
Is that correct, Mr. Kinyar? Council, that's correct. Commissioner, if that document could be tendered and marked as PNG Ports 6. Yeah, yes, Council, I have made the document into evidence and marked as Exhibit PNG Ports 6. The next document is a letter from Independent Public Business Corporation Managing Director Mr. Wasenta Kumara Siri, OBE, to Minister for Finance, Honorable James Marape, MP, dated 28 August 2014. Is that correct, Mr. Kinafa? Council, that's correct. Commission, if that document could be marked as Exhibit PNG Ports 7. Yes, Council, uh, I admit the document into evidence and marked as Exhibit PNG Ports 7. The next document, Mr. Kinyafa, is a document described as Independent Public Business Corporation Managing Director, Mr. Wasanta Komosiri, OB, Memorandum of Recommendation for Approval under Section 46, in brackets B, in brackets 1, of the Independent Public Business Corporation Act of Papua New Guinea 2002 to Minister for Finance, Honorable James Marape, MP dated 28 August 2014. Is that correct, Mr. Kinyafa? Yes, that's correct, Council. Commissioner, if that document could be marked as PNG Ports 8. Yes, Council. I admit that document into evidence and marked as Exhibit PNG Ports 8. For the next document is a document signed by the finance, Minister for Finance, Honorable James Marape. It is a memorandum of approval under Section 46 in brackets B, capital B, in brackets 1 of the Independent Public Business Corporation Act of Papua New Guinea 2002, issued to PNG Ports Corporation Limited, dated 28 August 2014. Is that correct? Council, I can confirm that's correct. Commissioner, if that document could be marked as Exhibit PNG Ports 9. Yes, Council, I admit the document into evidence and mark as Exhibit PNG Ports 9. Mr. Kinyafa, the next document is a letter from Ballymore Number 39 Limited from the Director Justin McGann to PNG Ports Corporation Limited Chairman Nathaniel Poya, OBE, dated 20 May. 2015. Can you confirm that, please? Council, I confirm that. Commissioner, if that document could be marked as PNG Ports 10. Yes, Council, I admit the document into evidence and mark as Exhibit PNG Ports 10. The next document is a letter from Ballymore Number 39 Limited. Director Justin McGann to PNG Ports Corporation Limited, Chairman. Nathaniel Poya, OBE, dated 29 May 2015. Is that correct, Mr. Kinyafa? Council, that's correct. Commissioner, if that document could be tendered and marked PNG Ports 11. Yes, Council, I admit that document into evidence mark, and marked as exhibit PNG Ports 11. The next document is a letter from Ballymore Number 39 Limited, Director Justin McGann to PNG Ports Corporation Limited Chairman Nathaniel Poya, OBE, dated 5 June 2015. Is that correct, Mr. Kinyafa? Council, that's correct. Commissioner, if that document could be tendered and marked PNG Ports 12. I admit the document into evidence and mark as exhibit PNG Ports 12. The next document <coughs> excuse me, is a letter from Bellymore Number 39 Limited, Director Justin McGann to PNG Ports Corporation Limited, Chairman Nathaniel Poya, OBE, dated 12 June 2015. Is that correct, Mr. Kinyafa? Yes, Council, that's correct. Commissioner, if that document could be marked as PNG Ports 13. Yes, Council. I admit that document into evidence 
and mark as exhibit PNG port 13. Mr. Kenyafa, the next document is a letter from Bellymore number 39 Limited Director Justin McGann to PNG Ports Corporation Limited Chairman Nathaniel Poya, OBE dated 19 June 2015. Is that correct? Council, that's correct. Commissioner, if that document could be marked as PNG Ports fifth, sorry, 14, PNG Ports 14. Yes, Council, I admit the document into evidence and mark as exhibit. PNG Ports 14. Mr. Kinyafa, the next document is, is described as a contract for sale of land between PNG Ports Corporation Limited and IPBC dated 1 July 2015. Council, that's correct. Commissioner, if that document could be tendered and marked as PNG Ports 15. Yes, Council, I admit the document into evidence and mark as exhibit PNG Ports 15. Mr. Kinyafa, the next document is described as a PNG Ports Corporation Limited Tender Evaluation Report dated. July 2015, if you could confirm that. Council, that's correct. Commission, if that document could be tendered as PNG Ports 16. Yes, Council, I admit the document into evidence and mark as exhibit PNG Ports 16. Kenya, the next document is described as a PNG Ports Corporation Limited board paper dated 17th July 2015. Is that correct? Council, that's correct. Commissioner, if that document could be marked as PNG Ports 17. Yes, Council, I admit that document into evidence and mark as exhibit PNG Ports 17. Mr. Kenyafa, the next document is a PNG Ports Corporation Limited record of board resolution number 57 of 2015, dated 17 July 2015. Is that correct? Council, that's correct. Commissioner, if that document could be tendered into evidence and marked as PNG Ports 18. Council, I admit the document into evidence and marked as exhibit PNG Ports 18. Mr. Kenyafa, the next document uh, consists of two volumes, but it's, it's, it's essentially a document described as a motor care designed and build of new birth and associated facilities, contract number POM 523, contract document, July 2015. Is that correct? Yes, Council, that's correct. Commissioner, if that bundle of documents could be marked as PNG Ports 19. Yes, Council. I admit the document into evidence and mark as exhibit PNG Ports 19. Mr. Kenya, for the next document is described as Addendum 2 to Letter of Intent between IPBC Curtain Bros Papua New Guinea Limited, Ballymore Number no. 39 Limited, and PNG Ports Corporation Limited, 26 September 2015. Is that correct? That's correct, Council. Commissioner, if that document could be marked, and so if that document could be tendered into evidence and marked as PNG Ports 20. Yes, Council. I admit that document into evidence and mark as exhibit PNG Ports 20. The second last document is described as an environment permit number EP-L3 in brackets 509 issued to PNG Ports Corporation Limited dated 22 June 2016. Is that correct, Mr. Kinyafa? Council, that's correct. 
Commissioner, if that document could be tendered into evidence and marked as PNG Ports 21. Yes, Council, I admit the document into evidence and mark as Exhibit PNG Ports 21. And finally, Mr. Kiniafa, the last document is described as a letter from PNG Ports Corporation Limited, Managing Director Mr. Fego Kiniafa to Deputy Prime Minister, Minister for Justice and Attorney General, dated 31 July 2020. Is that correct? Council, that's correct. Commissioner, if that document could be tended into evidence and marked as PNG Ports 22. I admit that document into evidence and marked as Exhibit PNG Ports 22. Thank you, Mr. Kiena. That's, that's all to do with the tendering of documents for, for this morning. Commissioner, we propose to have Mr. Kiniafa's summons extended to the 7th of March 2022 at 9.30 a.m. if it's convenient to Mr. Kiniafa. Council, we, we will be available to attend. Thank you, Mr. Kiniafa. So if the summons number one dated 10 December 2021 could be further extended to Monday the 7th of March 2022 at 9.30 a.m. for mention. Commissioner. Thank you, Council. Uh, having considered that someone, the Commission directs that summons number one, dated 10 December 2021, is further extended to Monday, 7 March 2022, at 9.30 a.m. for mention. Dated this seventh day of February 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. If uh, Mr. Kiniafa could be excused for from the Commission. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Mr. Kiniafa, for your attendance this morning. You can be excused from the witness stand. Thank you, Mr. Kiniafa. Thank you, Mr. You can also be excused. Commissioner, I understand uh, the last matter for this morning is <clears throat> excuse me, a summons number seven relating to the Treasury Secretary, Mr. Andrew Oake. I understand he's uh, present this morning, so if he could be called up to the witness box. Perhaps the associate could just clear the um, table that has the um, documents tendered by PNG Ports, um, Commissioner. Commissioner, um, my friends from the Department of Treasury are here. Um, perhaps they could enter their appearance for um, for the client. Good morning, Commissioner. For the record, Council's name is Kewa, initial M. Appearing for and on behalf of uh, Sec Acting Secretary, Department of Treasury. Thank you.
Good morning, Mr. Wate. Good morning. Thank you for, thank you for attending this morning. Uh, Mr. Wate, you uh, appear under summons. Um, Commissioner, the, the situation is we reviewed the documentation um, produced by the Secretary. We will be proposing that the summons number seven be extended to the 14th of February, which is next week, Monday at 9.30 a.m. There are matters which we need to uh, deal with uh, um, in consultation with, uh, with his lawyers in terms of the relevant documents to be produced. So perhaps the summons could be extended to the 14th of February, 2022 at 9.30 a.m. Thank you, Consul. Uh, in consideration to that, uh, the Commission directs that Summons number seven, dated 6 January 2022, is further extended to Monday 14 February 2022 at about 9.30 a.m. for mention. Dated the 7th day of February 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Commissioner. So if Mr. Oyaka can be excused by momentarily. Thank you, Acting Secretary. You can be excused from the witness stand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. May I also be excused? Yes, Council, you can also be excused. Commissioner, subject to any uh, comments you may have, we have no other matters uh, scheduled for for this morning. Perhaps the commission can be adjourned to the next uh, hearing date. Thank you, uh, Council. Uh, thank you for guiding us this morning for the the hearing. Uh, as we just gone through the agenda items for today. And uh, let me also remind all of us to be mindful of time factors and in compliance with the directions that we need to achieve what we need to do for the duration of the Commission of Inquiry. And uh, I see that we don't have any other agenda to go on with for this morning. May I call on the associate to adjourn the hearing.